Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And today I want to talk about six quests that you definitely need to do in Sunbreak. This will be a combination of things like follower quests, actual quests, side quests, stuff like that. These are all quests that will result in getting cool armor, weapons, or layered stuff. Basically, interesting unlocks that you definitely don't want to miss. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys have enjoyed doing the most in Sunbreak so far. And also let me know what you're running with right now. What are your armor sets? What are your weapons? Definitely tell me down below. But to begin with, let's talk about the Royal Order Battle Axe. To be honest, a lot of the Royal Order weapons are fantastic and a lot of these are linked to the follower quests. But specifically talking about the Charge Blade one, this is a very nice weapon. Once fully upgraded, this has 320 base attack, purple sharpness, 10% affinity, a nice rate of slots to play with and it is also an impact file plus it just looks really cool any of these sort of regal royal looking weapons are very very nice so if you guys want to get this one this will be done in master rank 3 you need to turn your attention to the follower quests all you need to do is complete the quest Basarios buzzkill and if you haven't got that one you first need to do the quest white knight versus new knight and that will then unlock the Basarios buzzkill completing that will give you the royal order battle axe Moving on from there to quest number two, this one is a must if you are a gun lance or a charge blade user. This is basically a tasty set that is just good out of the box. You don't even need to gem much into this, you don't even need to put any decorations into this, obviously you still will, but this thing is so good and that is the heavy knight set not only does it look cool this of course is master arlo's armor set this thing looks fantastic so even if you don't want the skills you can take it for the layered style but skill wise i mean just look at this thing guard up artillery load shells god offensive god razor sharp quick sheath what the hell this thing is ridiculous if you want to get this one you will need to be master rank four and turn your attention to the follower quest unknown invader if you want to get this one or you haven't got this one so far you need to complete all of master arlo's previous follower quests you then need to complete Dame Fiorain's and audience with the Queen and Flick It in the Night follower quests as well. Then you speak to Master Arlo and of course you can then get the Unknown Invader quest which will result in this armor. Following on from this to quest number three, okay, I'm a little bit biased, but the Ninja Sword upgrade. The Ninja Sword was one of my favorite things about Rise. It was a fantastic weapon. It looked hella cool. The fact that it has 100% affinity guaranteed crit is ridiculous. And it also doesn't have a visible shield. So you basically look like you're punching the monster in the face when you play the Hard Basher playstyle. That was my favorite end game weapon. And thankfully you can upgrade it in Sunbreak with the ultimate upgrade. For this one, you'll get a uh, villager request as you play throughout the game. Make sure you're speaking to everyone whenever you get the different speech bubbles. I'll be honest, I don't remember exactly when I encountered it because I basically just picked all of these up. But if you're playing through organically, you'll get this pretty early on in fact. And all you need to do is capture one Shogun Senator. Given that of course it's tied to capturing that, it'll be something you do early on in the game. But go out, capture it, and you can get the upgrade for this, allowing you to make the Ninja Master Sword, which has a ridiculous chunk of blue sharpness. Don't forget, of course, with Handicraft, you can boost that up a little bit more. And again, you have that nice 100% affinity and 300 base raw attack. You will, however, need some afflicted parts to max it out to rarity 10, but again, that's your upgrade. Then the Feline Fireworks. This one, if you haven't got this already, you need to. There'll be a point very early on in the game where you will speak to the uh, buddy handler, the equivalent in this one, and you'll get a series of different quests. And basically, depending on the type of palico you have, you need to go and complete a few quests with them. Make sure you pay close attention to the bomber type palico. You need to make sure you take one of them. Even if you don't want to use that type in the future, it is fine. You simply need to take one on three quests with you to complete that quest, and you'll then be awarded the Firework, which you can then apply as a secret skill and honestly the firework is so much fun it just creates a massive explosion which does good damage plus it just looks hella cool so make sure you complete the relevant quest to unlock this Next up for the Style Hunters out there, the Azure Layered Set. This is not an armor set, it is just a layered set, but it looks hella cool. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like a mix of sort of Final Fantasy slash Devil May Cry. Honestly, I like this one a lot. If you want to get this one, you quite simply need to complete the Master Rank 5 quest, which is stats on statuses stats. It'll have you hunt a Gormagala, an Espinas, and a Lunagaran. And once you've done that, you can have this hella stylish set. Then finally, to round things out, how about some layered armor that quite literally makes you look like a Kahoot? If you've not done this one, then of course, early on in the game, you will have a quest to go and photograph three Kahoots in Elgado. Keep in mind, one of those can be yours, or if you're playing in multiplayer, it might be one of your friend's ones flying around the uh, Elgado outpost, but only one of the ones that is a player 
cahoots will actually count as a singular one. In addition to this, you'll force need to go to the very top to photograph the small cahoot, which uh, I'm basically attributing to this game's version of Poogie, because when you interact with it, you get some hearts. Let's just pretend it gives you good luck. And then for the third and final one, you need to go over to here to photograph this, and that will then give you the completion for this quest, which allows you to unlock this stylish mask to make you look like a cahoot. So there you have it, there are six quests that you should be doing if you want to get some cool different unlocks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, if there are any more that you think are worth mentioning, let us know down below. Keep it locked for plenty more, if you've missed some of our recent videos, check out one of these ones, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.